All right, this next equation, linear equation, that we're going to look at uh, to solve is an equation that it involves fractions. In other words, I have um, an equation with fractions in it, and I want to talk to you about how we're going to solve this. Most of us don't really like fractions that much. If we do, and, and most of you I've seen um, on your calculators will just take some number like let's say 5 fourteenths and you'll just change it to a decimal and move on. Well, we can't exactly do that when we have variables in my fractions, whether they're in the numerators or the denominator. So what do you do? One of the most useful tools that I encourage you to start practicing right now is to multiply this equation by some number, it's a magical number, and get rid of those fractions so that we don't have to deal with fractions at all. We can deal with whole numbers and we can solve like the previous example. Now what do I do to do that? Whenever I have these uh, numbers in the denominator or a, do or a denominator period, I want to start thinking about least common denominators. So if I can multiply, multiply through by a least common denominator, it's going to get rid of my fraction. So if I have 4, 14, and 7, I've got to start thinking what's the least common denominator or what is the one number that 4, 14, and 7 will all divide into. And it's never going to be the smallest, so I can tell you that right now. It just so happens that the least common denominator between 4, 14, and 7 is 28. 28 is a number that 4, 14, and 7 all divide into. And that's the number that I'm going to multiply through to get rid of my fractions. So I have one, two, three terms in this equation. And I'm going to multiply all three terms by 28 over 1. So I encourage you to write this as 28 over 1 whenever you're multiplying by fractions. So the first term on the left, this is going to be 28 over 1 times x minus 3 over 4. That's equal to 28 over 1 times 5 fourteenths minus whoops, 28 over 1 times x plus 5 over 7. So I have three separate multiplication problems going on here, and they're all multiplying fractions. Now, when I'm multiplying fractions with this uh, pair right here, we can cancel common factors. In other words, 4 divides into 28 seven times. And notice that that leaves a 1 down here in the denominator. So my denominator disappears, and this simply is going to be 7 times x minus 3. No more fraction for that term. That's equal to 14 divides into 28 two times. So I have 2 times 5, which is 10. Bring my minus sign down. And then you can see 7 divides into 28 four times. So I have 4 times x plus 5. So I went from this equation here which has all these nasty fractions in it to this equation here which is all whole numbers and it's much easier for me to solve. So to solve this we're going to first start by distributing and getting rid of the parentheses on both the left and the right hand side. So this is going to be 7x minus 21 equals 10 minus. Now remember it's this entire negative 4 that is going to get multiplied to this x and to that 5. So this is going to be negative 4x minus 20. That second multiplication part right here is where most students make the mistake. So I have um, the left hand side is going to stay as 7x minus 21 and let's combine these two terms here. So I get negative 4x minus 10. So negative, or excuse me, 10 minus 20 is negative 10. Now I'm going to add 4x to the left because that's going to give me a positive 11x. And I'm going to add 21 to the right. So if I add 21 to the right, that gives me 11. Divide both sides by the coefficient of x, and I find out that x is equal to 1. And that's the solution to 
this equation, this linear equation that has fractions in it right here.